Good day, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today we uh, are going to talk about uh, conga sign. Um, so as you can see that uh, I'm on a conga support page. So uh, conga sign. If you if you wanted to, uh, uh, you know, send out a, a document for a signature, right? Then you can use conga sign, and you can see that uh, it's an uh, e-signature application, right? And it's made. Uh, especially for Salesforce, right? And also says that user can initiate an e-signature process uh, from any object in Salesforce using predefined templates or by adding signature tags in real time, right? Um, so this is uh, pretty handy if you wanted to, you know, send out a document, uh, email a document from a Salesforce asking a person uh, to sign it, electronically sign it and then send it back, right? And which will automatically link it back to you know sign in a conga uh, transaction <clears throat> uh, uh, view. So what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate how to install conga, uh, and then few setups. Then we can initiate a uh, signature process. Right? Sounds nice and easy, right? Okay. The f the first thing first, you need to have an org uh, to install conga. Uh, so I, I'm using free org. Right. I mean, you can use free org. Uh, if you are, uh, uh, if you wanted to install for a customer sandbox, and that's the requirement, uh, you wanted to test it out for a customer. Yeah, my, go for a customer sandbox. Provider of customer agrees for that. Right. Uh, so, uh, what we're we gonna do? So, I'm using a free uh, org, develop org for testing. Right. So, as you can see that. Uh, I logged into uh, my free org, so it will take me to uh, the setup page. So what I, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, so what I want to do, I wanted to go to App Exchange. So get started, and uh, uh, just look for uh, Conga Sign. And once it will take you to Conga Sign here, and just read about the information, <clears throat> and uh, it will ask you to uh, when you do get it now. You know, it will uh, ask you for the login screen, right? And then it will ask you whether you wanted to. Uh, it takes a while, a time, sometimes it takes five seconds, sometimes it takes, right? Okay, so, and it will take, it will tell you where, where you want to install. So you get something like this. So install here, and then you have to uh, fill out this information. I'm, I've, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do any of this stuff here. And once you fill out this information, uh, allow the provider, if you wanted a conga to contact you by phone or email, so that's your choice, you can always click on allow this option, right? And agree to uh, the terms and uh, agreement, uh, conditions, sorry. Uh, if you want, you can read it, right? And confirm and install. I presume everyone knows how to install uh, an app, right? Cool. Right, so once it's installed, so you're pretty much good to go, right? Once it's installed, it will it will send you an email that it's once it's done, right? So once it's done, let's say let's assume that it's done, right? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, go to uh, tic tac toe icon here. Uh, look for conga sign. So if you uh, cannot find uh, this uh, app here, that means it's not installed yet. Okay. So go to conga sign here, right, and uh, so you need to do some setup, basic setup first, right? So go to Conga setup, okay? And um, the the first thing, uh, just take uh, sometimes 10 seconds to load, depending upon the speed of the work, right? So Conga processing region, you need to select a region. It often says that uh, it should match the region of your org, right? So I'm in, I'm in uh, New Zealand, so, uh, so I choose Australia, right? Um, and then you need to connect with OAuth, so it will give you an option to connect. So click on connect. So as you can see, I've connected there, right? And organize configuration, right? So what happens is that uh, it will let you choose uh, 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 10 objects. And when you go, let, let's choose 10 objects, right? Let's say, I mean, not 10 objects, let me choose few objects, right? Now I got be here. Let's say two objects. You can choose accounts, contacts, whatever, right? And go to next, right? And then you add a profile. So let's say I want to add a uh, sysadmin profile. 
So depending upon which profile you want it to give access to the user, right? So I'm going to add custom sysadmin profile and sysadmin profile, right? And save it. So it will run the process. So what happens is when you run this, right? It will uh, actually enables a uh, send email button uh, in your uh, uh, page layout. So that's something I want to demonstrate now. It's just going to take uh, maybe a um, few seconds or a minute, depending upon uh, the speed of the operation, <clears throat> right? Okay, so now send with, so this is what you get when you uh, do that process, right? So you get, you're almost done. Send with conga sign button was created for you to use it. Just add to button page layout. So go to setup, it will take you to the setup, <clears throat> right? So I've done four uh, account, right? So I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So I've already configured for accounts. So let's go to account here, right? And go to page layout. Uh, you need to pay attention to two things here. So go to page layout and uh, look for, uh, so go to buttons here, right? Uh, look for send with uh, conga sign on, conga sign, right? So drag and drop this button to um, here, send with conga sign, right? And then you go to mobile and lightning actions and you do the same process here drag and drop to uh to the mobile place here right it will it will show you where to drag and drop right okay so that's that's pretty easy right and now you need to worry about the related list as well so go to related list and there are a few entries for um uh conga sign so this is the conga sign transaction right so you need to drag and drop here so once you do this three process, save it. This is pretty much you have to do, right? So I repeat it again. The first thing you need to go, go to buttons here, right? And drag and uh, drag and drop this send with Congo option here down, right? And then you need to go to mobile and lightning action and drag and uh, drop this uh, send with Congo option again, right? And then you need to go to um, related list and then uh, drag and drop the conga sign transaction option here, right? Nice and easy. No, nothing uh, complicated about it, right? Cool. Okay, so now save it, right? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to um, accounts because this is an account. You can uh, see the reason why I can see uh, conga with sign in button and all this stuff because if you remember uh, when we talked about the setup, right, where it gave you an option to uh, choose 10 objects, right? Uh, initially, I've selected accounts, cases, contacts, right? So if you do not select an object, right, uh, you will not see this um, conga with sign on uh, option here, sign option here, right? Cool, nice and easy. Okay, so let's go to accounts. <clears throat> and uh, so, and what I've done, so I've created, I have a lot of accounts, right? So I'm gonna choose GB pubs, right? And, and so we don't have any transaction here, right? It's nice and easy, it's simple. Okay, and I have a, a contact uh, with an uh, email address, right? You need to have an email address because obviously you're sending um, a, a document to for e-signature, right? So you need to send out via an email. You can't send it by post, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> what we're gonna do, um, so you go here to an account. So because I wanna send it from an account, right? So let's say you have a document uh, associated with the account, and you wanted to send this to a you know, to a customer, right? Uh, so uh, that's that's the scenario, right? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to this option here, and there's a button called Send with Conga Action, uh, Conga Sign, right? Click here, and uh, uh, it will take a minute. So what I've done, you can actually uh, search for an existing file name. To make it simple, right? I've created a very a basic Word document uh, with one liner, right? So I'm gonna upload that file here. So this is plain sight in the document here. That's all it says inside the document, right? And then uh, add an existing contact uh, or create a. So I'm gonna send this to this guy. Um, yeah, so to this guy, right? And then you can add the subject, right? 
uh, please sign this document. You can copy here. Um, you can also add the transaction expiration, right? And when you want this transaction to expire, let's say I want it to expire it on 5th, right? And, and time, let's say I want it to 1 a.m. and expiration reminder, you can remind them tomorrow, right? And you can, and request reminder just for now, right? It just to, uh, because, you know, you can't expect uh to you know to to send a document to someone and they will be signing it straight away right maybe it's a long document maybe it's an uh an, an employment contract right so you know person might need a couple of days to read through it and maybe contact someone else you know to to get the second opinion right so you need to set an uh expiry date for that right transaction expiration so that will come handy cool Okay, now we need to, now Now comes the real, real magic here, right? Now, my document contains a very basic one-liner, but there is no option to enter signature or any stuff, right? Now, this is where uh, things get interesting. We can add tags, right? Signature tags, name tags, right? So let's go to uh, preview and tag. And um, uh, so here you go. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put the, signature here right and a nice and orange so this is all the document says so right please sign the document here right you might have a 50 page document so whatever you know the document you have so just to demonstrate I, I put a very basic stuff here I'm gonna put the initial here underneath right and I'm gonna also put uh, the name next to it right I can put the name next to it I mean, it's up to you how you want to align, you know, arrange it. And then I can also put the company. Um, okay, I can also put the, the, the sign in date as well, right? Okay. Right, this is all I wanted, right? So now I'm going to send. Okay, so that's send. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my email, right? So this is my email. And so I'm I'm the receiver, so I, I received the email because just now I, I send it, right? And you can see that it goes to, uh, before looking at the email, right? Uh, let's look at here. Conga sign-in transaction, right? It, is it completed? No, it's not completed. So the status sent, right? That's what it says. So uh, in your system, right? Salesforce uh, will, you know, and, and, and so under Conga sign transaction, it, it shows that status set. It's not completed, so you can keep track about of the documents you sent and it's not been signed yet, right? So let's open this, right? And view document, okay? And uh, so I agree, right? So this is a name by default, they probably, right? You can change if you want. So initial, if you wanted to put, right? And accept signature here. So this is initial, right? And I'm gonna accept the signature here, right? So it's signed, right? And now you're gonna do complete signing, right? And once that's done, <clears throat> right? Uh, you can close this one. And you can go back here and refresh it. There you are, it's completed, right? Let's see, it says completed. Now go go back and download the final version. There you are, it's signed, right? So this is pretty straightforward, very easy to um, integrate, right? So you don't need much option here to do that. One thing I wanted to uh, talk about is that uh, the business unit, right? So the business unit, right, uh, you know, if you if you wanted to add a uh, the default business, right? You can you can do that, right? So, bit, which business unit you are associated with it, you can do that. So, I've created a an existing uh, I've created a business unit, and I've attached the logo. I just for well, for sake of simplicity, I put it as a Salesforce logo, right? So, let me show you what the business unit looks like. Um, so it just takes a while, right? So I put the business name. Right, that's why you remember that I got an email from uh, demo email. 
So that comes from um, uh, because of the business unit name, right? If I change it, it will change the name of the email that goes out. Change the, top. you know, uh, it changes here from where it comes from, right? It's the business sending out an email. So that's company logo, right? Email from a display name, right? Demo email, right? Email display name, right? So this is what it comes, demo email, right? So <clears throat> so if I change it to something else, uh, sorry, uh, when I mentioned before, uh, it's not the business name that's fixed, uh, that that gets displayed in the email, uh, it's this name, sorry, sorry about that, okay? Uh, so you can put the signing invitation and message and whatnot, right? Contact information if you wanted to put. Just read about it, so you got a pretty nice support here. Uh, this is a Conga uh, support document. I'll put a link in the description below for information. All right, just go through it. A lot of stuff you can do. So my main intention is to give you a, a quick hands, uh, you know, hands-on demo, so that you know if you are planning to uh, start working with Conga sign on, it will give you an edge to get started. Right, at least. Now you can see that I can send out an email, I can sign it, and you know the information gets sent back, right? So you can go to the you know transaction here and you can look at the transactions what have been going on, right? Nice and easy, right? So that's that's pretty much I wanted to talk about. Uh, so next time we're going to talk about the uh, other topic related to Conga. So do let me know if you wanted to uh, see other topic associated with the Conga. I will try to cover, right? Cool. Uh, that being said, greetings and ideas from New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.